Do you keep finding yourself writing backup offers for your clients? Are you wasting your time? Let's find out. Hey guys, I'm Keith with the KP Elite Real Estate team and I have a great topic for you guys today. A lot of our new agents keep asking me, they keep coming to me with the same issue over and over and over again. And I keep finding them in the same situations over and over and over again. And it's around the topic of backup offers. This is a crazy market. We all know where we're at. We know how crazy it can be out there. And it can just feel like you just can't win and you keep struggling and you get in the same cycle over and over again of writing offers and losing, having backup offers and things like that. So the question and topic today is, are backup offers worth it? Are they a good tool? Are they something that we should be using? And now I have a couple examples. I guess my answer would be maybe. And it's not necessarily for what you think. First of which are, are you a brand new agent? If you're a brand new agent, then I would say yes, backup offers are worth it for a couple main reasons. One, you're brand new. So every bit of training that you can get, every bit of growth and opportunity to start that process, write that offer, it's gonna help you. And it's gonna be good to use that with your client. It's gonna help you along that process of getting more comfortable writing the offer. The second big part about that is it's gonna help you build some confidence. After you've written a couple offers, you're gonna feel more confident to talk to them about that process and go through those stages. And at the end of the day, every offer you write, the better you're gonna get in that process. Now, outside of being an actual new agent, are writing backup offers worth your time? Do they even work? Where are we at with it? So the first question I would wanna ask yourself, and I ask every agent that comes to me saying, hey, Keith, I'm writing a backup offer. And I'm like, great, I'm so excited for you, but is there even a chance for you to win? And in the bottom of your heart or the pit of your stomach, if you're thinking, honestly, no, they have seven other offers or they had way above list price or our backup offer is not even as good as the top three offers that are on the table. then I ask you the same question. Why are you writing it? Look deep into your business. Look at what your client's telling you to do and ask yourself, why are you writing that backup offer? Is that really in your client's best interest? And I always get the exact same response or some general type of answer, something similar to this. Well, my client asked me to do this. It's the only house that they want. Well, what are you doing in that example? What are you creating? What are you causing? And that leads me to my next point or my next step. What expectations are you setting with your client because you're writing that offer? Now, what I've come to find is that when you write that backup offer, you're doing a couple things. One, you're telling your client that there's a chance. You're giving them that little hope. Reminds me of Dumber Dumber every single time. It's like, you're telling me there's a chance and you don't wanna do that to your client. You're getting their hopes up. And what happens when you get their hopes up, you're taking all other houses off the table because they're thinking about that one house. It's the only house they want. It's the only one they have a chance at. But in reality, if it's 99% chance that they're not even gonna get it, by writing that backup offer, you're delaying the inevitable. Which brings me to my second point, number two. You're wasting a ton of time of your clients. As you know, every day that goes by, your client's buying power goes down and down and down. The market continues to climb. So if they keep their hopes set on one house or one opportunity, then every day that passes, the house that they could be buying out there is falling away and it's going away and they're able to buy less and less. So are you really doing a disservice for your clients by writing a backup? Most of the time you are doing a disservice for them and you're not helping them. My encouragement to you would be grow the confidence in being able to tell your clients no, to tell your clients that this is not the best route and that it's gonna waste their time. It's okay to tell your client it's not possible to win this one, it's inevitable. Now, a lot of clients are all the same in the sense that uh, they're always gonna be critiquing you and they're always gonna be trying to judge if they trust you or not. By telling your client no, you're gonna help build trust with that relationship. And one of the ways that I would say that is by using this exact same script. Hey, I wanna tell you something that you actually need to hear, not what you want to hear. That's a common script I use with a lot of clients and it's super important. You need to be telling your clients what they need to hear, what they have to hear in order to have success in this type of market, not what they wanna hear. What they wanna hear is that they still have a chance. What they wanna hear is that they're gonna be at the top of the list on the backups, but it's not necessarily what they need to hear. It's not what's actually going to help them. 
So keep your client's best interest in mind when you're talking to them about this, these files and these relationships that you're building with the cross agent. If you know it's not gonna happen, let it go. Let that, that file die, let that transaction go away. Tell them that they're not gonna get the house. It's gonna hurt shortly, but it's gonna help a lot more in the long run because they're gonna have the time to look for something different now. They can move on. It's like a Band-Aid that's getting ripped off instead of ripping off something slow. So make sure that you're protecting their time and representing them in a way that's gonna help them long-term. Lastly, we have the most practical reason why backup offers can be a really bad idea. Not only is it wasting a lot of the time of the client, but it's also wasting a lot of yours. Your efforts could be spent so many other places. You could be using your efforts to find a new client, to find that client that you just wrote the backup offer on, an actual house, and just helping more people at once. Maybe it's spending more time with your family. Remember, time is such a valuable asset in your business. So if you're wasting time writing a backup offer that's never gonna happen, then you're really hurting yourself, your client, and your family all in once. So don't do that. Grow your confidence, build that courage to talk to your client and tell them what they need to hear and not what they wanna hear. We'll see you next time.